Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the number 84 spindle for your axle. So if something happens or something has happened to your spindle, maybe it's gotten damaged or worn out, or you just want to create a new custom axle for your trailer, this is going to be a great way to do it. It is a weld on design, so the square block will weld onto your axle and give you that new spindle so that all your bearings and races and, and um, the inner components can ride along that and make sure that it's a nice, even, smooth movement. So let's take a closer look and talk about some of the measurements to make sure that this is the right fit for you. It does come with the cotter pin, the castle nut, and washer to go at the end there. And this is going to have a nice sturdy steel construction, so it's going to be up to the task for many years to come. You can, uh, again, use this as a welded on piece. So this is just a, a clean flush cut that you can weld right to your axle. This works with 3,500 pound trailer axles. And the stub width here is an inch and a half. I'll show you that with my ruler inch and a half across that's going to be same for both for all the sides so it is a, a square the spindle capacity is going to be 1750 pounds so that 3500 pound is is a accounting for both sides so that's the total weight each spindle would hold uh 1005 or 750 so that's where we get that number Overall length of the spindle is about eight and a quarter inch from the very end to where it would meet with your axle. As far as the bearings, races, and grease seal sizes, you can find those on the product page here at eTrailer.com. You can also find each of those components here at eTrailer as well. So if you need to get those replacement parts for your axle, it's a good opportunity to do that while you're already here. The end of our axle here is going to allow that castle nut to thread back, back on. And again, should be a nice replacement for a damaged spindle or if you just want to create something fresh and new. That's pretty much going to do it for our look at the square number 84 spindle for your 3,500 pound trailer axle. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right part for you. We do have some other options available though here at eTrailer.com, so check them out if you need to. Thanks for watching.